So even though Power Platform has, I don't know, 450 connectors, custom connectors allow you to even go way beyond that into anything that's in your environment. But getting those into solution can currently be a little bit tricky. So let me show you a trick. So here in my environment, I've got this custom connector. And I, want, uh, I also want to have this custom connector managed in my solution because, of course, I'm using solutions for all my application lifecycle management. So here's my solution. But here's the tricky thing. If I go into Add Existing and then go to Custom Connector, the list is empty. Now, this is being worked on, but for now, there's a workaround you can use. And so the workaround is to, let's go into my Custom Connector here. And I'm going to edit it and then turn on the Swagger Editor. Now, Swagger is the definition for this API. And so I'm just going to copy everything in here. And then back in my solution, instead of you adding existing, I'm going to create a new custom connector. And then on this side, I'll just go into the Swagger Editor, delete everything that's there, and just paste in what I took from my other connector. Then turning off the Swagger Editor, I can walk through the rest of the builder. It should all be configured matching what's in my working custom connector outside of a solution. And I'll just call this GSA Connector in Solution. And then we're ready to create it and test it. And then once it's created, we can create a new, a new connection. This one uses an API key. And it's working great. And just to double check, if I go back to the solution here. And so now I see this custom connector in my solution. And so this is a little bit of a workaround until this is available to do directly in the, in the platform. And this is a workaround that we see a lot of our enterprise customers using that we wanted to share. Thanks for watching.